Hey everyone, in this video, I will introduce you with the Sublime Texts. So let's get started. So the first question is why we don't use the notepad. Uh, if you look at the notepad, uh, let's search for notepad. If you look at the notepad, uh, it is a very, very simple text editor. It has just a uh, view options. You can zoom or it has a statement about show or not. Uh, it has the, also the replace function. You can find a text and then you can replace this with another text. I admit that notepad has very basic functionalities of a text editor, but it will not well suited for code editors. So why don't people use this notepad for editing their code? The answer is because this code editor doesn't have theming options and the syntax highlighting options. And apart from editing text, programmers need an integrated build system and the integrated compilers. This is what something called the IDE or the integrated development environment. To fulfill the needs of having the build system integrated into it and the compiler configurations so you must have to go for some kind of IDEs which can provide you a very well suited text editors for their specific languages and you can do whatever you want in a very least time. So that is why you should use Sublime Text, Visual Studio or Xcode. Here I am in that Sublime Text and it uses the tab based architecture to organize their all the source files opened at the same time. It automatically detects the language that you are using based on the extension of the source file. If you have opened the C-Sharp file, then it will use the syntax highlighting for the C-Sharp language. And if you are using the C language, then it will use the C syntax highlighting. And Sublime Text provides you a feature to let the programmers implement their own syntax highlighting with the help of some programmatical configurations. You can also pull out the tabs from this tab array and you can work with the separate windows at the same time. And now you can place the step again into that array at your desired position wherever you want. This is a very cool feature. And the most important thing here is that the performance of this sublime text. When you close the window of the sublime text and then if you search for the sublime text in the start bar, then it will be opened instantly. And the cool feature is that you can edit multiple lines at the same time. Just press the key combination, control, shift and down arrow key and then type whatever you want. And now you can see that it will be typed in all of these lines automatically. This is a very great feature. And you can also find the references to a specific symbol in multiple source files. And this feature can be used to identify unused variables or the functions definitions and many much more things. And now to search for a particular symbol in the current source file, just select the symbol and then press the key combination Ctrl F. And then click on find all on the bottom right corner. And then the sublime text will search through all the symbol names in the current source file and then it will highlight the magic symbol names. You can also replace the symbol name with different names. You can also compile and run the source code within the sublime text just by pressing the key combination Ctrl and B. And now you can see the output of our program on the bottom pane. Another great feature is that you can work with mathematical expressions within the sublime text just by pressing the key combination Ctrl Shift P and then choosing the arithmetic option. Then you can type the expression and you will get the answer. To mark a line as a comment, just press the key combination Ctrl and forward slash. To create multi-line comment, just press the key combination Ctrl Shift and forward slash. When you are working with large project, then you may need to see multiple source files at the same time. For example, I have opened the three windows here and now I want to split up my screen into three panes so that I can adjust all of these source files into these panes. To do that, go to the view tab and select the layout. And now you can see that we have multiple options for the layout. Now select column two. And now you can see that we have two panes side by side. And now you can add tabs to this empty pane. And now you have the side by side look of the source files. Similar to this, if you want to split up your screen into three, go to the view tab and select layout, select the column three. And now you can see that we have three panes. Now drag the third tab into the third pane. Now you can see that we have side by side look of the three source file at the same time. This is pretty much for this video. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.